Hey everyone, this is Sean McDonald with Quiet Waters Realty Group and EXP Realty. I'm here today to give you a market update for the real estate market in Surf City, North Carolina. First, I'm gonna go over some data and then I'm gonna explain what these numbers mean to you either as a property owner or an aspiring buyer here in the Surf City, North Carolina market. So this data is, I'm gonna compare the cumulative data from 2020 to 2021 to show how the real estate market has changed over the course of the year. First, in 2020, the average list price was $483,000 in 2020. In 2021, the average list price was $574,000. So that's an 18% increase year over year, much higher than the historical appreciation um, that the real estate market here has seen. The average sale price in 2020 was $435,000. In 2021, this year, the average sale price was $529,000. So that's a 21% increase year over year. Again, much higher than the historical property value appreciation. Average days on market. So this number is from when a property is listed on the market to when it goes under contract. In 2020, the average days on market was 103. In 2021, the average days on market dropped to only 44. So that's a 57% decrease. Big picture, these numbers show that we are still in a seller's market. Overall, there's a low inventory of properties for sale and a high demand. So lots of demand, which drives the prices up. So how do these numbers, what do these numbers mean to you? So what? That, so if you're a property owner who has been considering selling your property, now is a good time to do so. There's a lot of demand, there's lots of buyers that are interested, and there's not a lot of inventory on the market. So if you sell your house and it's priced well in decent condition, you can expect to sell it very quickly and likely have significant buyers, a significant amount of buyers who are interested in your home. If you're a property owner or an investor and you're not wanting to sell right now, then just know that you probably have about 15 to 20% more equity in your house. Your property has probably gone up about 20% in value from this time last year. Therefore, you will have more equity in your home. Now you have a couple options, you know, it's just one, it's just good to know what your house is worth. So if you're interested, please send us an email below and we, our team would be happy to do a free market analysis for you. Or if you're wanting to capture some of that equity and redeploy it into different assets, whether that's real estate, stocks, whatever, then it's a good idea to potentially look into doing that sooner rather than later as interest rates are still fairly low and expected to rise next year. That leads me into the third category is people who are looking to purchase real estate here, potential buyers. Um, you know, there's no signs of the real estate market locally slowing down. There's lots of new construction. Um, you know, we live in a coastal town. There's only so much you know, beach property available. So, and we don't expect people to, you know, stop wanting to come to the beach or wanting to stop live here. It's a great place to live. It's a great community. So there's no signs of it slowing down. And while interest rates are low, we still think it's a good time to purchase property here. Just know we, we recommend to our buyer clients to do your best to have your ducks in a row and be prepared uh, before you start submitting offers. Um, what that looks like is getting pre-approved through a local lender or having a proof of funds letter from your bank showing that you have enough cash to cover the purchase. Um, and that's something we want to include with your offer to strengthen your offer for the sellers. Know as a buyer that it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of competition. Uh, you might be going up against that guy who lost out on three or four other properties that they fell in love with and is wanting to do whatever he can to get this one that you like also. So just know, you know, we have some recommendations on how some other ways to strengthen your offer, um, but just know that, you know, there's things to do on the front end to put you in a better position to, to get the properties that you're interested in. 
So if you have any further questions, please contact us below. We'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on social media. Um, we love you know, providing value to our clients and our friends and the community here. Uh, so please let us know if there's anything that we can do for you and have a great rest of your day.